I've recently discovered Git and uh, also recently discovered GitHub and uh, recently discovered that you can actually host websites using GitHub. So that's what I'm going to discuss in this video. If you don't know Git, I recommend a really good video by Zoe Blade that kind of uh, explains what the whole point behind Git is really well. Once you know Git, take a look at GitHub, which is just a social website where people can put their code um, and other people can, can contribute to, uh, to improving the code by forking it if they want and the controller of the code can decide to, um, to incorporate changes really easily. And it's, it's kind of meant to be a bit social. So for example, there I'm, I'm seeing a news feed of things that are happening to SymPy, which is a symbolic library for uh, Python. I've got a few repositories myself. But uh, what I want to talk about as an example today is uh, reveal.js. Now, reveal.js is on the, the, the code is on GitHub, um, which is where I got it from. And it's basically... Uh, uh, a framework for easily creating beautiful presentations using HTML. Now, you write your uh, your presentations in HTML or using Markdown, which is why I actually chose to use reveal.js. There are a few other of these around. And then it needs these these libraries, so CSS library, a JS library, and a few other things to actually render um, nice presentations. So when it comes to actually hosting it on the web, um, you need these on a server somewhere. And that's the point of GitHub Pages. You can, if you have a repository on GitHub, use that repository as a server for your, the for the for a static website. Um, they've got some instructions on on how to um, uh, to set things up yourself, but I'll just go over it uh, now. So going over to my computer, on my computer here, I've got this uh, folder mat013 sas r, which contains a whole bunch of stuff, including the CSS stuff and the JS stuff that you just saw me point at. And um, at the moment, this HTML file. Now, what this HTML file is, um, are just some of the is just some slides I put together to describe a course that I'm going to be teaching um, on SAS and R. And it uses reveal.js. It's it's very very nice. Um, but at the moment, it is just being read on uh, my local uh, computer. Right, so the first thing you do is create a new repository. So click on the new repository button. Call it MAT013. I can call it whatever I want. Um, code for an R slash for a SAS slash R course. Create the repository, that's all there. Some instructions are given if you wanted to create your Git repository, but I've already got that. On my on my local machine, but I just copy that up, and I'm going to add this remote repository. Then I will simply push the master branch to my remote repository. If I go back there, we see all those files are now in there. Um, but what we need to do is create a new branch, and it must be called GitHub. Pages or gh hyphen pages. So create that branch, and now we see that we're there. And if I push that branch, git push um, origin GitHub pages, this branch is now also here. Okay. And then relatively soon you receive an email from GitHub. They say up to a minute, uh, up to 10 minutes, sorry, but it, I found that it's more or less instantaneous. Um, and you, uh, you can go on the website. If I go to MAT013, which is the name of my repository, um, you see the website has indeed rendered. Um, and all the slides are there. So that's a, a really nice way of being able to use GitHub to, um, to host a website. I plan to actually move my entire website at some point to GitHub as it gives me more control. And then as long as any changes you make um, on whatever branch are also pushed to the GitHub pages branch and that's pushed to, um, to GitHub, then um, they will be recorded. So I hope that's helpful.